Greetings everyone, welcome to Token Nuggets. This rant session is a lengthy one, but as usual, please see timestamps at the description of the video for chapters you may be interested in and also for referral links for central exchanges registration for those who are that way inclined. In this episode, Coinwatcher Chi sets his laser eyes on BTC and Satoshis. Sol gives his random crypto encounter story in central London. Jedi K gives an update on the Hodder Life tokens and shows the basics of how to stake Hex. We also give an update on our Harmony One validator duties thus far, as we have scaled out our servers and we are firing on all cylinders. This rant was recorded a day before the Elon Musk Twitter saga of the 18th of May, so we just missed out on discussing that in this particular rant session. Thanks for your time as always. And please do like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's learn together. Thanks for your time. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another Crypto Rant session with the usual suspects uh, with Token Nuggets. We have the usual suspects in the house. Could you guys introduce yourself? We do a quick fire round as per usual. Please introduce yourself, guys, but from London. Hi guys, um, thanks for listening once again. This is uh, the coin watcher. You may have um, heard me before. We're just here again to um, catch up and then um, do the usual rant. Excellent. Thanks. See, thank you very much. And then next, we go to Germany. Introduce yourself, please. Hi everyone. This is Jedi K coming live from Germany. And as you know, I'm just trying to connect the dots. Excellent. So thank you very much indeed for that, guys. So. Uh, today, three of us will be ranting on about uh, what we find interesting in uh, the crypto arena, the blockchain arena, and what's been going on in the past uh, week. It's been uh, quite eventful, to say the least. Uh, so, as per usual, we'll go with uh, our new speaks. So, new speaks. We'll start with our what we have on the Instagram story, for starters. This is an interesting one, guys. I'm sure you saw this. Uh, Samsung is adding Bitcoin hardware wallet support to its smartphones. So they sold 75 million smartphones in the first quarter of 2021. Over to you, Apple. Shimo is I think you, you, we spoke about Apple adopting something a while ago in one of our previous rants. Absolutely, that? absolutely, we did. So the question still arises. Yeah, when are they going to uh, get on the blockchain? I don't know. I'm sure there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment. And it is, it is interesting also because we spoke about how Samsung might end up being um, the first mobile device uh, sort of uh, manufacturer to incorporate cold storage. <laughs> onto the device and and I'm sure Apple Apple will move at a fast speed to to catch up with that. That's what I think of that. What do you guys feel? I, 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 I mean, I, I think I think the I think the it's, it's a no brainer. I think I remember the conversation we had when I said that if if Samsung moves in first, I mean Apple has no option because uh, I mean they've been they've uh, fought over, over everything since we since we know, we know them. So so why not? So yeah, uh, Janaki, you want to opine on this one? This is an interesting. Yeah, one. yeah, it will be interesting to see how they do it because I'm also thinking, yeah, if we look at our traditional you know cold wallets that we have, which is they'll have to do a hybrid between um, what we have online right now, the hot wallets versus a cold wallet. Yeah, and. I would be really interested in the technology because people change phones. It is, it is an interesting one, yeah. And uh, Tron has also become the chain with the most USDT used, followed by Ethereum. Uh, if Sol was here, Sol, would, Sol, Sol is, a big, uh, is a big fan of Tron. Uh, and uh, I've been keeping a close eye on Tron as well. It's an interesting one. It's an old project, old school blockchain project too. People should have a look at that. And this is an interesting one as well. It's going to be very hard to unseat Bitcoin as a store of value assets, said Stan Druckenmiller. So yeah, so again, that's uh, that's 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 open open to debate, but you know everyone has an opinion about this. But it's just an interesting one we thought to pick up. Uh, yeah, this is some uh, random one here. It's in facts about Bitcoin. So there are 390 million Bitcoin missing. I'm gonna do the math oh, on that one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mt. Gox, the Japan-based exchange that in 2013 handled 70% of all worldwide Bitcoin traffic, declared bankruptcy in February 2014 with 390 million missing from accounts. Again, these are popular stories. This is like uh, legends, you know, stories that are out there that people can research. Again, just saying, you know, everything's vulnerable, you know, always keep an eye on, on your bag, secure your bag, as I say, always secure the bag, make sure, you know, you, you invest in cold wallets, cold storage, because anything can happen, everything's vulnerable. Again, this was by Lark Davis, uh, following on Twitter, on interesting stuff. Right? In five years time, you will regret panic selling your Bitcoin because of a tweet. What do you guys think? 
He's he's actually is he calling Elon out or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lord Davis actually has an interesting thread. Well, not a thread. I think he, he tweeted something, and uh, a lot of people came in talking about stuff he had said in the past mm. and all of that. It was interesting reading, really. But uh, yeah, uh, I think a lot of people called out Elon, uh, of course, for obvious reasons. <laughs> you know. Yes. Y- yes. <laughs> so, so time will tell if uh, people would uh, regret uh, panic selling. An interesting one as well from uh, Giga. Is it? Yeah, Jesse Jones, the NFT world with a $19 million investment. People should read the story. I don't want to show that. Uh, that's the story from NFT on Instagram. Yeah, an interesting one as well. I'm not sure how people will take this. I'll just read it out. No comment. So it says the fact that an 18-year-old can't take out $10,000 business loan, but can take out a $100,000 student loan tells you everything you need to know. Uh, I don't know if hmm. that backs up. I don't know. I don't know. Well, <laughs> can an 18-year-old make <laughs> solid decisions about, you know, business? Okay. Yeah, some can. Mm. Some can. But again, it's it, it's just one to ponder. Not sure what to make of that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, does anyone want to opine on this one or let it, let it slide? Uh, yeah, no, nah, I ain't letting it slide, man. Okay. No, it, 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 for me, for me. Go in, go in. I, I remember when I was at that age. I was basically, yeah, I was doing the normal stuff, you know, basketball, um, summer camps, but I was also baking. It was started out as a hobby, turned into a business. I was already doing wedding cakes and so on um, for events in high school. Um, I was into e-gold and um, forex trading, you know, basically being entrepreneurial. Yeah. But for the life of me, there was no way in hell anybody would give me um, a loan. The, the good thing, however, is, um, you know, growing up back home, we didn't need to take students loan like the States. Yeah. yeah. That's the difference. Mm. Yeah. I think this 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 chat here or this um, screenshot, this story is more yeah. pointed towards the American banks, you know, the banking system in America, because there's even no guarantee for anybody who goes to school that they'll get a job to pay off the loans. Absolutely. Uh, and, you know, the whole loan, student loan system in the, in the States has been an ongoing discussion for years. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, an interesting one from uh, eBay. Uh, eBay enters NFTs, adding NFTs inventory, allowing sale on a platform. I think that's one to pay attention to. I really do. Another one here, uh, an interesting one by uh, Pump. Uh, Pump for Apple Piano. Uh, allegedly, I'm not sure, I haven't tracked down the tweet, but this is from Crypto Hike on Instagram. Uh, can't wait for Tesla to stop accepting US dollars because it has such a negative impact on the environment. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell, you know, people taking shots at Elon Musk or you know, that deep in the market. And yes, of course, and a very interesting one that must be mentioned, Richard Hart of Hex says, so Elon, so I quote him, so Elon Musk said he can't promote Bitcoin anymore because of the electricity use and is looking for a more energy efficient cryptocurrency. Good news. I build what he wants and it's launching soon. T.me forward slash pulse chain com. Tens of thousands of coins come with it. And that's uh, in preparation for the, uh, the fork of uh, Ethereum that Richard Hart is planning. I think it's for this weekend. We had a gig out session about that uh, yesterday, but we're still still doing some digging on that. So yeah, uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, this, this will be one to keep an eye on, guys. As per usual, shout out to Richard Hart and the Hexagons. Uh, this is uh, an interesting one. Keep an eye out, yeah. And uh, yeah, this one, ransomware attacks top 81 million in stolen crypto this year. That's from analysis. So more than 406 million was paid by ransomware victims in all of 2020. So there's been an increase in payouts, ransomware. That's, that's interesting. So I think security is another one to keep an eye out on. One other angle of things to keep an eye out on and there's a particular angle of it called is it reg tech oh gosh let me find that i was actually actually had a had something open before let me get that open because that's an interesting angle i think needs to be talked about let us do a good old let's keep it transparent reg tech aha regulatory technology yes okay okay excellent so okay what's what's led to this this rant now let me just let's let's, let's be clear what's led to that so it came from this story about ransomware okay so with all of this you know attacks and all of that we've, we've seen an increase in cyber security based projects etc and i think another angle that uh, we should pay attention to is also reg tech so that's regulatory technology what is that essentially so reg tech is the management of regulatory processes within the financial industry through technology so the main functions of reg tech include regulatory monitoring monitoring reporting reporting and compliance so when you factor all of that that that's essentially what reg tech is so now Onboarding this compliance-related activity onto the blockchain is another angle we need to look at. And I think that's beginning to happen. Perhaps we may argue it goes against the whole essence of cryptocurrency or privacy and all of that, because privacy is, you know, cryptocurrency, decentralization, you know, getting the middleman out of the way kind of thing is what it is. 
But with the way things are going, with all of this constant dips and manipulation, you know, they may have to something may have to give to give some sort of some semblance of balance. I, I think so. To, to mm. well, what do you guys think? I'm ranting now. I'm just ranting now. I, yes. Please. That, yeah, chime I, in. I personally think. I mean, we, on, on this uh, on this channel, we've talked a lot about you know what's wrong with the system. The way I know we all uh, in for decentralization and uh, you know privacy and all that. Mm. But we also know that um, there's a lot of things um, going wrong. You know, you just uh, mentioned in the previous screen where there's a uh, the ransom waiting people. Yes. Of course, that that money you, you put up there, those are people's money. Those money are just mm -hmm. not from anywhere. Uh -huh. You know. And but I would like really like to see in terms of uh, reg tech and regulations. I want to see how, I mean, how um, why why far-reaching regulations mm -hmm. or any kind of you know you know control will go mm -hmm. in the crypto space. Absolutely. I'll be keen to see that. Yeah, I'll be keen to see that too. Yeah, because I know it wouldn't be a a, a welcome. Uh, idea in a lot of circles, and and for for the right reasons too. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, for the right reasons too. So it'd be well, an interesting. Well, one to see. So, 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 Jake, what are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, on, on this one, I'll say um, regulation as a word in itself is rather ambiguous. Yeah, right? yeah. And mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people will have issues with it because they just hear regulation and they think the worst. You know, it's not going to be a, a Gestapo state in blockchain, right? <laughs> yeah. So. But it's just as well because you know how to say like the bad apple spoils the the whole barrel kind yeah. of kind of thing, and that's what the government and regulatory agencies are using right now to mess up the the space, um, the blockchain space, right? Because everybody who says yeah, um, this happened and ransomware and you know illegal activities using crypto, and I'm like yeah, but they also use fiat. Well, this so this is a a random conversation about how many one that we thought to just uh, amplify. So, so uh, this user, Polytonic, shout out to you guys, buying ADA at two cents and under 30 cents for six months in the belief we're going way over one dollar. While most said ADA is vaporware and a stable coin. Now, I have not been this excited since until I saw one token, Moon, I suppose. <laughs> you best believe <laughs> buying one every chance I get. So, uh, I second so, that. I second that. We all second that. And so, oh, so, yeah, so, yeah. I'm in. I mean, on that too, because someone said, smart man, glad to have you as part of the one fan, brother. That's Bobby Hoff, uh, the one. Shout out to Bobby Hoff. Really nice well. So yeah, interesting one. <laughs> interesting one there. Cool stuff. One thing I'll I'll round off with is another tool that guys, we should look at. It's it's a tool of, well, okay, I'll, I'll mention it. I think we've mentioned Messari before, Messari.io. Yeah. So Messari is a good tool to have, a good portal to, to use. And especially if, you're, if you if you can afford the subscription, you know it's it's, it's good enough shilling the portal. Uh, yeah, you, you you told me about this a while ago. Aha, uh -huh, yes. So so with with what Messari, even with Messari's front page, there's so much to be gleaned as per information. There, just again, this this popped up to mind whilst we're you know we had a lengthy discussion about regulate uh, reg tech regulations, you know, and all of that. And you know, to be ahead of the curve, be in the game, one needs to pay heed to to the trend and what's what's happening, what's required. What's going to make? Uh, what's what? What are those things required to sustain the blockchain ecosystem or keep it moving forward and advancing? So a key thing that was popular at the time was interoperability. You know, and again, you can toggle that list and look at you know the, the new guys out there. You know, again, we know maybe one to ten percent of all of these tokens will survive. But then again, you know, have a look, have a look at what they're doing. You know, look at how they're changing the landscape. As an example, and again, you can look at DEXs. Who, who are the new DEXs? I'm sure people like this who work with data. We're big on data and token markets. We enjoy data. People who, you know, uh, Messari, you know, they, they handle data well too. You know, you can tell what's going on, all time high date, you know, decentralized exchanges, how they rank and all of that. You know, toggle the pages, look at what's going on, you know. So all of that. So this is Messari. It's essentially an investor's intelligence portal, so to speak. You know, and all of that. You can look at the uh, smart contract platforms. What's going on with them? Top asset return on investment. All of that. So, guys, again, that's my sorry for you. It's a, uh, it's a good, good one too. Do they have a token, by the way? Just curious. You know, I, I doubt my sorry have a token. You know, I doubt they do. Mm -hmm. I don't think they do. I will check. Let me not say that. <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, I have really dealt into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I, I, I have something to say about this. Right. Yeah, just a quick, quick, quick drop. Yeah. This is heaven. For oh yeah. <laughs> This is heaven for the dust connector. Go for yes. it. Go for it. <laughs> yes, yes, oh yes. This is heaven for the dust connector. Yeah, so this is a this is a good one. I've always uh, enjoyed, you know, just having it. It's one of my favorites. Check it out every now and again, and uh, get a lot of intel from that. You can get the pro version and all of that, you know. And I, I think same thing applies to uh, uh, token metrics. Token metrics as well. You know, we, we should shout out those guys that are, you know, making good use of data 
uh, I think I had a subscription once, a free free subscription, and I think uh, yeah. So again, this this is their own portal as well, similar. No, well, not similar to not dissimilar to what Missouri does, but their aggregation and all of that is different. You know, they have a pricing thing there. If you wanna take advantage you know, of that, and all of that, so have a look at that. So that's token metrics. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, those are those are good good resource centers as well. If uh, those who want to really take it seriously and spend some money for subscription based services or info, I think those are two good um, two good portals to explore. Okay, I shall stop ranting. My rant done. Okay, so we go to the coin watcher for any news update on what's going on in the world of uh, Clubhouse. <laughs> so I, I came across this news. I know it's been going around. You know, we're not, I've seen the head people talk about Satoshi's. You know, yes. of course, the Satoshi's is the um, the smaller unit of Bitcoin. You know, and the interesting thing, thing here is I see that uh, some people don't want to go the route of calling uh, Satoshi's. You know, because yes. uh, it's a way of uh, cheapening um, cheapening Bitcoin. You know, mm. or I think that um, you know, of course, um, everyone likes Bitcoin. I've heard people say, "Oh, I can't buy Bitcoin because it's too expensive." And I do go to tell them, "Look, you can actually buy five dollars worth of Bitcoin, ten dollars worth of Bitcoin." And then when you buy that, you are actually buying, you know, the smaller use of Bitcoin, which is Satoshi's. Absolutely. Um, I am of the opinion that if Bitcoin prices um, keep on to rise, so to go to like three hundred dollars, three hundred k dollars, or five hundred k, or even a, a million, yep. then at that point, it becomes really, really expensive for people to afford. Then, if we say that Bitcoin is going to like um, you know do a lot of things, the US dollar people say it's going to replace it, you know, then yeah. what happens to ordinary people who can't afford uh, who can't even afford a hundred k worth of Bitcoin? Account, right? Yeah, yeah. And if too many people say, oh, that's okay, it's going to be um, people are going to have access to you know it's going to, it's going to make um, help people to be financially free. Yeah. So what happens then? So why would we uh, be stuck in in you know wanting, not wanting to recognize Satoshi's? So that's yeah. um, that's a, that's the thing that I uh, picked up. You know, I mean, you guys are free to. Uh, China, yeah, but well, you know you can break it down into digital units and hand it out. Yeah, to them too. yeah. You know, yeah. I think there are inherent inherent advantages with that, but uh, and also helps with adoption if crypto is indeed the way we're going. Absolutely. So Absolutely. yeah, uh, anybody want to chime in on that one? Let me stop ranting. Again. Yeah, did I? Okay, you want to rant in? So want to rant? Chime in on this one. Rant in. <laughs> um, yeah, I sort of agree with um. Uh, she is on this. Uh, you know, I haven't been able to ever afford a full Bitcoin, and that's an honest truth. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I stick to the little bits of the Satoshi, and as long as I can buy a little few bits here and there, then then I'm happy. In, in terms of the price that is going, obviously, it's quite alarming. So, guys, if you have a full full one and it's free, uh, feel free to spread around. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. By all um, means, please. Uh, I haven't been able to buy a whole Bitcoin myself, so oh my God. accepting donations. <laughs> <laughs> I think one other thing I did want to mention is uh, to Toki Nuggets, man, you did a fantastic job, you know. We caught up with a few guys down in central London yesterday, some newbies and people just ranting away and we would, and they were like, what's Toki Nuggets? Is that a coin? I'm like, oh, well, what? not for now, not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. And it, it's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, in a long time, we've not walked down the streets of Oxford Circles and I can tell you guys that at least in the, you know, Swatch, so yeah. you know the, the, the shop that does uh, uh, what yeah. she's doing? We just there and we were ranting, and I saw a piece of work I went to uh, watch it that I really did like, you know? I think about 150 or 167 pounds. But then, unfortunately, I didn't have that amount on card. So I was like, oh. And I just whispered to my friend that, oh, how I sh- they do accept Bitcoin. And you know what? What? I didn't realize that the customer service agent who was the manager in that shop mm-hmm. was Japanese or Chinese. So but I could only see her back. Okay. So she, she, she turned around and she was like, you're into Bitcoin? Why doesn't everybody get this? And trust oh, me, we were in that shop for 30 minutes, talking crypto and no longer wristwatch. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I mean, talking about you're doing a great work. So, was this know, on Oxford Street? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this was on Oxford uh, Circus yesterday. Okay. You know, I told you I couldn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was with uh, a few guys, you know, so yeah. it was just us catching up and just geeking out and just having a chat. So, my yes. guys, man, let's just keep on burning the momentum. Don't, you know? don't look at, I, I, think, I think soon we're going to need, need a billboard somewhere in Oxford Secures or something. You know, like, yeah, we're, we're going to have to need, we're going to have to do some of those flash appearances. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I'll put it on an NFT, right? Eh? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Jedi K, do you want to share the Hodler Life uh, updates? All right, guys, we're back to the Hodler Life. All right, so let's see how we did in April. We did a brief run last month on how we did in March. And now, as we say, we'll see the story so far. As um, Token Nuggets mentioned, we missed um, Harmony One, and that baby is back in right now. Okay. Tracking it from 1st of March, because we mentioned it sometime in March. We've mentioned it a few times. To be honest, we got in a bit earlier uh, um, on, yeah, yeah. on this, but then we just tracked from when we started um, sharing information. Yeah. So still using the same parameters, um, we have the assets in, 
we have um, based on putting in a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, or three hundred on each of these um, tokens. You see where you are from the investment versus end of each month. And again, like I always say, the million dollar question is always: Do I stay or do I leave? I leave that up to you. It's not financial advice, so I can't tell you what to do. Um, so, <laughs> looking now, where are we? So, I'm comparing each of the assets versus the previous month, right? So on this column here where you have the percentage gain and loss, it's just looking at uh, the end of March versus the end of April. Hex had a slight dip for March, minus 5%. Spark point, a bigger dip, 94% wow. down. Yeah, mm. that was painful. I can assure you my wallet wasn't smiling. Oh, sorry, sorry, uh, did I say, was that uh, the, uh, the halving? Oh, sorry, at uh, the redenomination? Or wasn't it them? Was it them? No, no, no. The redenomination was um, um, Pundix. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mr. Right. Pundix. We spoke about Pundix. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're this is, still this struggling. Is, that's, a, that's a drastic drop. Yeah. That, that was the most painful. <laughs> but yeah, end of previous end of March in this column, um, we have like, um, we, we actually have five five good ones um, rallying in, in April compared to March. And as you all know, if you've been following um, the market, April was was a bloody month. We had lots of bloody days. <laughs> <It was a laughs> I, April I month. checked. I know. Yeah, it was a red month, man. It was a red month, you know, and, and the weather and the weather here wasn't helping as well. You know, <laughs> when I look, look, look at my wallet and the market and I look out the window and it's bloody cold and gray. Yeah, not a good one. But yeah, it's the huddle life. Remember, it's all about the huddle. long term plan. We huddle. We huddle. That's it. And that's what we do. We huddle. All right. So looking in here, we see um, the percentage gains in April. And as at um, yesterday evening, we have the current prices because I'm also looking at um, a comparison of where we are right now. So 14th of uh, May versus when uh, we entered versus entry points, right? Yeah. So we still see hex at 663%. If yeah. you had gotten it earlier, you'll be over a thousand percent. Hex, which is something I'm going to tell you guys in the last two days, hex has made me happy because it dipped twice. Yeah. And, I bought, bought, bought the dip. and I bought the dip. It was <laughs> fantastic. It was fantastic. Shout, out to, Hex, shout, shout out to Hexicans, by the way. Man, shout out to Hexicans. The, the, the Hexicans are doing a fantastic job. Like, yeah. really, really good. Community is good. Now I'm I'm joining in, listening to the Telegram chats. Um, same thing with Paul's. Welcome. And I got <laughs> another another great, great community. I've said it before a few times. Is Harmony One. Harmony One, yeah, um, absolutely. So you can see what Harmony did. They also went in um, 374% um, in here. I can say I haven't been so much. I haven't seen a lot of um, or been been active in the communities of um, Chili's and, and Centric Cash. Okay. Um, I need to get on it, but this takes time. And for me, it's a hobby connecting the dots, you know, long term planning. It's more of a hobby thing, right? It's not my nine to five, so to say. And this takes a lot of time. But you can see if you had gotten in, in, in at the beginning of March, wow. this is where you'll be. Yeah, there are some that still need to gain a bit more. So you put in 1,300, 100 quid on each asset, you're still, come on. Exactly. About, about, about four times, almost four times. Okay. In, you know, in two months or okay. two and a half months. I don't think any bank will give you that guarantee. Fantastic, right? So, 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 so even if you do this for two months and get out, right? Yeah. You say good. No bank, no bank can give you that in two years. 4,000%, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's 4,000%, yeah. That's yeah, a, that's no, a, that's a lot. No, yeah, no bank will give you that in two years. So, so who are you? Well done for that. Thanks for that, Jalaki. Well done. Who are your top two performers for this for this segment, this part? Well, well, the top performers for the month of April, which was the bloody month. Yes. Right. We have helium. Okay. Helium. Mm-hmm. Helium. Helium is, is is slowly just creeping creeping in. Okay. Um, I still need to do a bit more research into their, you know, in the rounds we had yesterday, the private session you yeah. guys had yesterday. I was talking about the end use people yeah. and how fast it is to deploy solutions on the network and so on. So I see, I see some good cases coming up, and that's why they probably jumped well in in April. Okay. Um, Interesting. This one, yeah, they they really did good in, in April because there were lots of projects like um, being. Um, exposed and talked about and being deployed um, in different locations across the world you know okay. so so developers are, are really doing some some good work in use okay. cases is that, is that why you would choose helium as the top performer yeah the top performer for april yes and i'm just connecting the dot here again as to why they were the top performer in april you know it was more the projects that came about and so on so of course people okay. will, will want to get on board right. however 
based on the hodler life, right? We have um, my top two, of course, it's Chili's and, and Hex. They did the best in here, you know. So Chili's, again, lots of onboarding. They're onboarding more things. We, we had the announcements regarding, um, what's it called? MMA, Miss Martial Arts, yeah. it's in now. You know, it, it, it's, it's really something growing exponentially and even looking, because I do follow MMA a bit, yeah. um, considering there are uh, a few <laughs> African brothers right there, you know, top, <laughs> top in, top in their, their, their divisions, their weight class. Um, so yeah, I'm looking in and actually next year, MMA is has something cooking right now for Africa. There was, there's, there, yeah, there's gonna be MMA Africa. Man. It's it's so I still see this um, exploding some more. Excellent. So yeah, they, they keep on boarding. So that's good. That's why Chili's is there. But then technical wise, so the, for me this Chili's is like the feel good um, aspect. Yeah. yeah that, that it's making them there. It's sports. It's about passion and not really anything tech or game theory related. Yeah. Zero. It's just passion and people want to be involved. It's lots of people in the com- community sharing the same passion just for the love of it. Full okay. stop, yeah. right? But then I have to confess, I am slowly becoming a, a, a hexagon. Yeah. Right? Um, so, so for game theory, hex, for game theory, I've had a few. An investment. Game theory. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hex. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and mm. it, it's, there's also something right now I, I, I thought of doing um, this, this past week. So I looked at the, my retirement plan. So I have the state one, mandatory one. I have a private one also with a regular institution. I'll say the old boys. I had those and I want to do a competition. Okay. I'm going to start with Hex, <laughs> right? The same thing. And, and actually in this, in this, in this rant, I can even do one because I started, you know, Token Nuggets yesterday was trying to explain to me the concept of laddering and, and so on. And I said, oh, people should know about Hex. Why don't yeah. you just do this live? So do you want to do a, a laddering session live? Yeah. Do you want to do a staking session live? I'm, I'm going to do a stake. I'm going to do a staking session. Yeah. Doing okay, a laddering so, will take a bit more time. Okay. Just do a staking. Yeah. So let's run yeah, through a staking do session, do so that I'm we can. Uh, because actually, to be to be fair, a lot of a few of the fans of if you, if you fans of Token Nuggets have asked that you know they want to learn more about Hex, and I've always been sort of saying you know we need to really do a deep dive on Hex because it's not your regular cryptocurrency. It is a cryptocurrency with smart contracts built around it or built on it, but uh, we need to do it justice. So what we'll do for today is just to show people how to connect their MetaMask wallet to the Hex platform. That's the old Hex platform, you know, and, uh, you know, just stake and uh, JDK will take it through that. We had a geek out session yesterday. So let's just have that on record again so we can share that. So by all means, JDK, oh. could, could you share your screen, please? Thanks for the hot yeah. live. Guys, I think credit to JDK, guys. What do you think? Well done, JDK. Yeah. Oh, fantastic information, man. Thanks very much for that, JDK. So at least yeah, you're yeah, welcome. It's good to see that, you know, all the stuff we talk about can all be put in one point and we can all have a snapshot view of how things are. That's going. right. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Jedi, oh. please share your screen by all means. When you all right. So, here I'm, I'm sure Token I will put some of the links in in the description of the video. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, what do we have here? You see the. So we can go to the. We can go to the. Yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah. Go yeah. Go hex dot com forward slash stake. Yeah. And there you go. So I already started. I did a uh, four thousand hex stake before. Played with that. So yeah, yeah. And and the way this works, the longer you stake. Right, you get more bonus shares. The higher you stake, you get more bonus shares. You know, like it, it, it's the theory behind this is mind blowing. I, I still can't wrap my head around it. I plan to, but it's gonna take some time. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So, let, let, let's do. A, let's just do a quick run through. So we just, you know, you want to click on X on that green thing. So we just do a quick stake session or refresh mm-hmm. this page, perhaps. So we yep. can just show folks how to connect to the MetaMask and all that. So okay. So let's go to stake. For instance. So this is the hex. Go.hex.com takes you here. Or, yep. Okay. Or you go to ethhex.com. Do you want to open a new tab and let's show people the alternative? So with ethhex.com, um, this is where you just do a app. It, it's eight plus four hex. So easily you can get your, once you have your Ethereum on, on um, you have your ETH on, on, um, on Metamax, you, you connect your wallet and then you can swap to hex. So what I did do yesterday and today, there was a dip in, well, there were two major dips in hex. And what did I do? Of course, I bought the do. What hodlers do? Oh yeah, I, I did. I did exactly what hodlers do, and right. this this is what exactly. I did. Exactly, I was going to ask you that. That's your tip. <laughs> oh my god! You know, this was the first dip. Oh, that wow. was the second dip. God. And guess who's taking the shot? <laughs> you should have put Richard yes. Hart. You should have put Richard Hart's photo there as the front guy. Oh there. my god! <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, yeah. this 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 is it was the best. I I had so much fun here. Okay, doing this. <laughs> all right, uh, Jackie. Let's, let's oh, go. All right, all right. Let's let let's let's go. This, this is cool. This is cool. The extra guys will be proud of you on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put that on social media. Uh, let's see. Let's see how that goes. All right. So so here we are. Like I said, you can just do your exchange. Um, you can change directly here. See straight estimate. You put it in. Um, let's say zero point. I don't need to change. I, I've got enough yeah, um, yeah, yeah. hex already. So, so can um, I, can I, before you go from here, please, uh, did I get, could you just clear those figures so that if people come, please clear the figures from the field. Yeah. So if people come, for instance, you come to this and you have some Ethereum in your MetaMask, you synchronize your MetaMask with this portal. This is a DEX essentially, ethhex.com. And if you want to buy, say, one hundred thousand hex. All you need to do is type that into the field. Yeah, please do that, Janaki. Okay, One hundred thousand, for instance, and that's how much it will cost you in Ethereum. Or if you want to, you know, take out the zeros out gradually and calculate. Yeah, it's it, to, it, it's just gonna cost you one point four nine one yeah. ETH. You know, that's and then it, it, it will show you yeah everything. And and when I did this, um, my gas fee when I staked um was thirty bucks. Okay, so so let's do a quick uh, stake. So here, All right. going back to to the stake. Um, let's say I want to do a stake. Um, let me plan something. A two. All right. So let me say I want to put in a stake. Okay. So now I want to stake automatically since my wallet is already connected. You know, on the ETH mainnet, it shows me how much hex I have available. Right here, I've got about thirty six thousand hex which is well i don't even know how to call this number so i got millions billions trillions gazillions 3.6 gazillions <laughs> hearts and and this links back to what you said remember when you were talking about the satoshis satoshis yeah yeah <laughs> well, hex, hex, yeah, uh, hex is on decimal uh, you know denominator hearts. hearts yeah yeah okay, all right so, so I'm, I'm i'm just gonna put in here i have thirty six thousand. i want to put in nine thousand or ten um, let me put in ten thousand hex and then right on this part you see more or less what you're putting you know like the bonus right it's 2k was it the effective hex it tells you your stake amount in x plus the bonus and so on so i get like 200 and, but this is not the good part you wait for the good part when i put in the days i want to go all right so here i want to put in february 2025 let's just say i'm planning to well, I'm doing long-term thinking, right? In 2025, which is four years from now, I would like to do something, probably get a farmhouse somewhere. And since interest rates are low here, I just need to, you know, the initial deposit. Let's see if I can build on. I was also putting some things in the ladder in. So let me use the dates. I go to 2025, right? Let's see if I can just change the dates. 2025, yeah. I go to February 6. Yeah. Why not? Okay. There you go. Well, and you like you could scroll up high, yeah. Please talk through the possible uh, rewards. Okay, let's go. Oh, sorry, when you do the stake, yeah. Okay, carry on. Do the stake first. Uh, All right. So that. now you see I'm going to get more or less about 17,000 yeah. um, hex yep. over here. From my 10,000, I'm getting 17,000. And this has nothing to do with the single unit value of hex which is great going up remember when we started huddle alive yep. versus now this is three months now think about what the price will be in four years yep so you lock yeah. it up yeah i'm gonna lock it up i still get this amount so this is my benefit of the bonus i get seven thousand four hundred and eighty three hex on my ten thousand hex well wow. right that's that's it this is like you know so you know do, the, do the stake now? Oh. Ah, I, I changed my mind. <laughs> okay, do the stake. Let's let's keep. All right. So stake. so now, yeah. Let me just do the stake. So I've picked my dates. It's one thousand three hundred sixty-three days. I put in my stake. My little fox is asking me. Guess what the gas fee is? Let's Twenty-four do. quid. Go, go for it. I confirm. And five, four, well, three, see it two, one. And by the way, people still understand that if you have uh, staked for a long term. Your long term, you stake for a long term, and you know mm -hmm. what they call the emergency end stake. So you want to sort of end stake emergency, uh, you know, uh, in, in an emergency, you want to exit your position. You mm -hmm. pay some penalties, and that penalty, that penalty would also be distributed 
across board for everybody within the particular. Uh, you know, there's a way it's calculated. So the game theory is fantastic. You need to read read through that. You know, that's why I'll be trying yeah, to X for a while. You know, to discuss this fully. It is interesting, and uh, you know, really, really good to see that it's a project that we've been following from from last year when, when it started. Out. Richard started out uh, 2019 on this particular project, and you know, it's been it's been a good one, really. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, this is still going. I think we might have to fast forward. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there you see, successfully staked. 28, 20,000 hex right there. And then I can see like my active stakes and so on. So as you can see, I'm I'm just staggering stuff um, okay. from yesterday and six months off and I'll keep building the ladder. Okay. And so all you whales out there trying to, <laughs> to, to just dump hex, go ahead. I'm waiting. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm right that's, there at the line. I'm waiting. That's what sets that's what sets hex apart as well. You know, you know, anyone who feels they can dump is doing every other person a favor. So that's what makes hex stand out, stand out in there. You know, in the whole concept and everything. So yeah, well done. Thanks for showing us this, uh, Jai K. We've been away from this for, for a while. So uh, guys, let's get into it. I know we got into this last year, so didn't we? Yeah, uh, but I think there's now a shortcoming on my side. I don't believe I actually staked it. We just swapped it on Uniswap. Okay, but you still hold you hold hex anyway. You still hold something. Yeah, yeah, I hold it. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah, that's alright. You stick it at some point. We should, we should have to have staking it at some point. Yeah, uh, maybe after the call with the guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, guys, thanks for that, Jedi uh, Kate. We are not going to keep this going for too long. Let me attempt to share my screen. Jedi Kate, that means you have to be giving us regular updates on all of this uh, happenings with Hex. Uh, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Oh, yeah, but no. it needs to be said there's an app called uh, Staker App. So, for anyone who's uh, staking Hex, it's a good application to have. Uh, because if you have staked on the Hex portal, all you need to do is enter your MetaMask wallet address onto into the Staker app, and then it links okay. all your all your staking uh, profile. It gives you a snapshot of your staking profile, and you can drill in down into detail as to what uh, what obtains on each stake, the dates, uh, the time, the value, uh, what it has accrued, etc. So it's it's not a bad one to have a uh, Staker yeah. app. I might put a link to Staker app in the description of the video. We'll just have a quick, good old update on Harmony. So, let's do a quick uh, duet on this. <laughs> duet. Yeah, go for it, man. So, so... I'm going to catch up lately on that one. So, uh, yeah. you just talked to me and I would, I would have to fix it. So, we, we were elected, you know, uh, as we mentioned earlier. And uh, the signing mm -hmm. rate is up. And by the way, our uptime average rate is up as well. It's uh, 84.85% at the moment. And uh, total staked uh, 352,000. And total delegated, you know, uh, minus self stake is 322. So thanks to all delegators as per usual. Thank you very much indeed. We now have about 55 unique wallets, but well, two active, two inactive wallets there. So I'm sure they'll be back. They're just holding their spots there. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much indeed. And calling out and shouting out to all potential wills. If anyone out there feels uh, they are, uh, you know, they want to be a will for token nuggets, uh, we still have enough space. There's enough room. Please, guys, uh, let uh, everyone know we are still offering very good returns and good rates. Uh, Sol, you want to yeah, uh, chime in on this? No, no uh, just before Sol comes in, can you go back to the uh, analytics page? The yes, so, so, so I was hoping Sol wants to do a quick uh, overview on this as well, this analytics page. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, because for me, it's more about what you said about the whales and yes. anybody who wants to come in. If you go down a bit, it was something I saw that gave me shivers. Yeah. Right? So here, it's about the sign percentage in the last two epochs, right? Yes. We're having 99.99, right? And then the the, ex, the the returns we got was over 200%. Yep. So, and, and then I saw where we're eligible for the next one. Absolutely. For the next, for the next epoch where we're eligible. Yeah, so, we are. Yeah. If you connect those dots and you do your numbers, <laughs> I don't know what you're waiting for, man. <laughs> yes, 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 guys. So, yeah, again, if you go into the front end there, this is what will be displayed to you. Again, this is not artificially induced, so to speak. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is where we're at with that. So, you want to chime in on this one? Yeah, so if you go back to the uh, validators page, I just wanted to point out uh, uh, to Botrus, uh, John Ake's point, which you mentioned, which was our percentage. Now it's good that we've got 84% uh, optimization, which is good, but it started from 77 and even way back to sort of 33 when we had a server failure. So that's a yep. very, very great achievement. Yep. Um, out of the sort of 27,000 blocks that were assigned to us, can you see it only dropped 
two, and that's ninety nine point nine nine nine. So, so we have two servers running side to side. So we know how both of them would fail. They're based at different locations, and that's why we've seen such a sudden improvement. So, uh, bring your tokens, come delegate, and we'll sign them successfully for you. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Alex. So, so yes, guys, uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a good one. So mentioned, we've had a, a thorough sort of scaling out, of course, with Patrick Sale from Slogan Crypto. We scaled out things, and uh, we we are hoping to to keep it keep it going. So by all means, do keep by, uh, delegating your tokens to us, and we'll make sure we work hard for you. Thank you very much indeed, guys. Last words from the guys. Shall we start from London, Chiweze? Final words from you. Yeah, once again, guys, it's been it's been fun. It's been good uh, being here again. Uh, Coin Watch are signing out. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. From down south, London, uh, Essex, uh, Sol, final word from you, please. Yeah, man. Um, thanks very much, everyone. Apologies for joining late. I think I got the timings wrong. Uh, so, uh, sorry about that. And special thanks as well to not only the delegators, but to the committed delegators who just keep their tokens there. And whether or not we're shouting at specific times, they still believe in us and you've given us that motivation. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. And of course, uh, thanks to the, the Harmony One Mainnet Staking Group. Telegram, Brother One, Rojo, Jimbo, all those guys who, who help out with making sure we are, you know, giving us that little push to get elected. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you all. Okay, and last but not the least, Jedi K, final words from you, please. Of course, if a haiku is involved, by all means, let it rip. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I'm into this. All right, here, here we go. Here we go. It's been a few crazy days with the coins all coming down and the mole markets going array. But you know what? We talked Satoshi's and Elon tweets. But when you got Hex and One, the deeps, they never matter. So what do I do? I don't drop my coins because my fingers are diamond and they don't flop. People ask me what's up and I tell them the sky's up. Wheels don't matter because you know what? They ain't my mother. It's all important to focus on all time highs hereafter. I'm gonna keep holding genuinely, keep buying the deeps continuously. Yeah, you know what, guys? Just like gold, all we're doing is dropping token nuggets. Ooh, yo. <laughs> yo, 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 on that note, we'll say yo. thank you very much indeed, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Jedi K, for the haiku. Thank you very much indeed, Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. So, money, everybody, Jim Wesley, Coin Watcher. Thank you very much indeed. Have a good one. Bye. Peace. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.